Dry eye disease is a very debilitating condition if you experience it and most of the patients that will come and see us will be patients that have um, chronic disease that's gone on for a while and despite lubricant eye drops that they've bought either over the counter or from colleagues they still experience symptoms. Uh, the most important thing to do when uh, a patient comes to see us is to determine whether or not they have which form of dry eye they have so whether or not it's uh, there are two main forms whether or not it's an evaporative form where tear production is normal but they're evaporating a lot more quickly or whether or not it's a, a, a what we call aqueous deficiency where they're not producing enough tears so either you're uh, aqueous deficient you're not producing enough or you're producing enough but they're evaporating or you have a mixture of the two, so you have a mixed type of disease. And, um, and on the basis of de determining what's the main contributor, we follow the treatment plan uh, accordingly. So for example, for evaporative dry eye, often the, the lipid secretions from the eyelids are not normal, and we then need to recommend warm compresses, uh, as well as lubricant eye drops. Sometimes we add in an anti-inflammatory drops, um, sometimes we also use tablets that reduce the inflammation. Um, for aqueous production, the main problem is that the, there's not enough tear production, so you still need to use lubricant drops, but we then plug off the um, openings on the lower lid and the upper lid, and that prevents the tear, all the tears from um, draining away into the back of the nose, so you get tears on the surface of your eye or eye drops on the surface of your eye for much longer. Um, in very severe cases of aqueous deficiency, we need to use um, blood products um, for the eye, and occasionally we use uh, pilocarpin tablets.